so i know why you clicked on this video you're looking to elevate your wardrobe level things up you want a more sophisticated more put together and polished look and i don't blame you i'm moving into my 30s and i want to i want to move gracefully okay i want to be tasteful but i still want to maintain my true sense of style i am someone who loves vibrant colors i'm gonna give you prints i'm gonna give you texture okay i like multi-dimensional multi-faceted looks and i'm someone who could do both you know i can give you a corporate reserved look but i can also transition and have it more suitable for you know a brunch outing you know what i'm saying or something at a nice venue where there's a dress code i know how to do it all and pull it together and so it's about developing your sense of style but also understanding how you can make nearly every style every texture every look every aesthetic work for you now i'm not someone who's going to preach to you about you have to spend an exorbitant amount of money to have a certain look it's all about what you do with what you have and I'm huge on confidence so above all no matter where you are on your confidence journey whether you're on a weight loss or a weight gain journey a level up journey I'm gonna make space for all of us and amplify those who you may have flaws you may be struggling but you have a right to look good and you have a right to feel good about how you look so embrace it all sis because this is your body, you get one life, you better make the most of it. And I want to give a special thank you to Anna Louisa for partnering with me on this video. If you have not heard of them, definitely check them out. They're leaning more towards carbon neutrality, they're sustainable, and they're tarnish-free hypoallergenic pieces. Go down to the website, I have the link in the description box along with a code KV10. You can get 10% off your order. Don't delay. I'm going to give you guys a close-up of the look and speak a little bit more about them as we move further into the video. We are going to be touching on hair. We're going to be touching on accessories and we're also going to be touching on different looks and how you can incorporate prints, colors, texture, and you know that monochromatic look. So I got a lot in store. So let's get into it. Now, if you're new here, I'm known for how I slay hair. Now, I'm just telling you, sis, I can do some things. I could work my way around a hairstyle. And are you someone who chooses your hair first? Or your outfit first to be honest with you i always think about my hair especially if i have to install a look so definitely check out my channel if you need inspiration i'm talking wigs crochet styles braidless crochet faux locks i've done it all so there is something for everyone and one of the styles that i noticed that does very well it's very timeless and it's very well received by my audience is the bob look so are you someone who wants a long bob or a lob do you like that shoulder length bob a little bit shorter are you more of a middle part or a side part i'm giving the girls a side part because a lot of you really enjoy side parts on me but i'm also i'm a sucker for a middle part now when you're picking out your look do you want something that's more sleek and more bone straight or do you want a little bit of texture sort of that blowout kinky straight look or are you more in favor of some curls or some waves now i've compiled a few styles for you guys because again these are looks that i feel can work for almost any face shape and any circumstance whether you are someone who is doing the everyday look going to work you're more reserved a little bit more conservative or you have an edge because i believe you know if i could describe my style it's very glam very chic very feminine but I still have a sultry sexy edge to me you know what I'm saying so I stay true so for today's look I was like you know what we're moving into fall and I want something that is going to transition well it's not going to be too long but it gives me the best of both worlds and that it has waves a nice wave to it and it's a little bit longer so this is giving me very sexy very sultry what do y'all think it's like old Hollywood kind of curls, you know, I have it slipped back on the side and it shows off my earrings, okay? And then once you figure out your hairstyle, you want to start thinking about your accessories. What are you going to wear with a particular hairstyle and a particular outfit? All of that stuff is super important. So I knew with this particular hairstyle, because I have it slipped back behind the ear, I said, these Abbey Statement earrings are going to be perfect. One, yes, they are a hoop, but they're a little bit smaller, but they're wider, they're larger, and they're not heavy at all. 
but this is going to give me the statement look but it's a little bit more reserved as it's not an exaggerated or an extra large hoop which I'm known for okay when thinking about necklaces so necklaces can make or break the look so I always pay attention to the type of earring I have and how it's going to go along with the necklace so if it's too long it's going to interfere and possibly hit the necklace making a lot of noise I'm not a fan of that for this one I like that it's multi-layered so you have the option to wear all three chains or you can you know wear two you can wear one and you have a lot of versatility with that and i like that it's not too too long i actually don't like necklaces that go too low and i like that i have this scoop neck with this top and it just works gold and brown are perfect fall colors and not to mention the lip i went really easy on the makeup but you see i gave you a pop of color very dramatic very bold lip but it all goes with the entire look and you know, I used to be really into bangles, but bangles can be a little bit loud and I don't always, you know, want everybody to know I'm coming, but sometimes I will make a little noise with the bangles. But this Alina bracelet is super chic. It's simple enough. I like how it's a little bit on the thicker side. So, you know, it's not dainty where you can't see it. You know, you could definitely see it from this distance. So I love that. Now, once you get your hair together, you've got your makeup together and keep it neutral on the makeup. You got your jewelry, your accessories. So then we want to start creating looks. I'm someone who loves a good print and I love texture. So I'm playing up on the oversized blouse trend and you know, more so giving you that kind of Versace style, but without the price. So I love to take this super oversized blouse. It has this gorgeous print and it has this nice pop of red all throughout but then i'm like okay we have an oversized shirt so i want to play it down with the bottom so i chose this pleated full leather skirt so when i brought these two together i love the silhouette i love how it's very sleek and it's complementary to my body type i am someone who is top heavy so i look for pieces on the bottom that sort of you know they bellow out a bit and they widen so it gives the illusion of a more cohesive shape because you know otherwise i'm kind of like straight up and down and there's nothing wrong with that but again we want to accentuate our curves our body types now let's say prints aren't really your thing and you're not really trying to do too much texture so let's move into neutrals neutrals can be a really great thing when executed well and when you are getting your wardrobe together you're going to want to focus on making purchases where you can develop your staple pieces your statement pieces and you want those staple pieces to be more alongside the basic or neutral colors and neutrals are things like black white cream tan beige blush i even consider blush a nice subtle blush color could be a neutral so you know there's varying different intensities and color ranges when you think about the basic or neutral tones so playing them up is key so for the next look i thought of the more corporate girls who may want to stay more towards that neutral kind of color palette so i love adding in a bit of blush again this is a touch of color and we have this button down but it's a concealed hidden button and then we have these balloon sleeves with the shirt and these nice accentuated cuffs so I really appreciate this and to bring it all together I wanted to wear the high-waisted tapered ankle pants and these are a great look again I'm playing up the high-waisted so I want my pants to sit at the small of my waist adding a little bit of a shape and then the tapered at the ends creates a more conservative more refined edge so you are getting a very glam look a very chic look and it's very very sophisticated and I think this works perfectly and with a neutral bag color because of the color palette of the outfit or the ensemble you can then play up a neutral bag of your choice so have fun with these looks let's keep it moving now we're staying into the neutrals we're doing more earthy tones so more like the creams the light browns the beige the greens you have a lot of different options and I wanted to do something a little bit edgy for those who like casual chic because that could be a look. So I paired it with a nice turtleneck and turtlenecks give a more sophisticated look. So I wanted to pair that turtleneck with some ripped jeans and you're like, oh, ripped jeans, they're not, that's not polished, but it's all in how you bring it together. And so when I think about the turtleneck and how that's sophisticated and how the ripped jeans add a bit of edge because they are form fitting, they're close fitting and they're high waisted. So it's giving structure throughout the entire fit and to play it up and to give it a more sophisticated edge you want to pair it with a textured, very chunky knit 
cardigan or coat again it's a long line sweater and it looks it looks gorgeous let me just tell you something that is the look i did that i, I love that look And I'm styling all of these outfits with the pieces from Ana Luisa. These again are very versatile. You can pair them with so many different things and you can play up your look, you can play down your look. So you guys get to see in real time, like these pieces that I have, they work for any occasion. So, okay, have you gone over, have you uh, went down to the description box to check out one, all of the links to these outfits, but also Ana Luisa because you, sis, you wanna get on it. We're still in neutrals, but we're talking more about monochromatic looks. So I'm thinking tans, I'm thinking beige, I'm thinking creams, I'm thinking blush. We can all bring these things together, but it's all in how you execute it. So I thought about this pinstripe blazer. I love this tan look, okay? And I was like, you know what, this is double breasted. It is a little bit more like a contoured kind of blazer, so it's more close fitting at the waist, but you get that structured look. And so I said, you know what, let's do a bit of a scoop neck below and let's have have a nice cream colored top underneath and so we're bringing in the tones from the blazer and the shirt and to set this off I thought about making the pants very very straight more tapered this is a cigarette style pant and it's more like the straight leg and it has that pleat down the center of the pant leg and when I tell you this look really came together for me, at first you may doubt things, especially when you're dealing in monochromatic looks. It may seem like it's too much, but that's why you want to be on both ends of the spectrum, a little bit more bright, one that's a little bit more subdued, a little bit darker. And then you can also find a balance in the middle where you have the pants where they're like not as dark as the blazer, but they're not as light as the top. So everything goes together. And keep your bags neutral with a look like this. Now let's say you don't want to do the blazer. That's a little bit too much for you. How about you kind of take it down a notch. You get a white top that has kind of like that square neckline, a wide square neckline. You get a jean jacket. Now this look has gone from sophisticated to super glam casual. It's glam chic casual. And I really love the duality of the pieces that I get because you don't always want a look to be super elegant, super busy, or you don't always want it to be casual. You want to find that balance. Again, it's all in the pieces that you get. The next few looks are examples of how you can play up your look, but you don't have to be as dressy or as you know business oriented. If you want to take the opportunity to dress down, but also play it up and sort of like take things up a notch, consider getting bottoms that are a little bit loose and when i say loose let's think about the gauchos the culottes and pleats pleats are a really good way to bring in a little bit of flowiness to your look it's super girly very feminine and when you have something that is very loose on the bottom what i like to do is create a more form-fitting look at the top so a scoop knit crop top okay it pairs well and then if as we're transitioning into fall let's pair it with a nice trench so we have the color palette very neutral we're dealing with the black and then when we introduce that trench coat what are we giving a look okay and with the gold accents of the jewelry everything just pops beautifully and for a little bit of fun olive is the color olive and hunter green such a great color so again i'm taking these high-waisted taper ankled pants and i'm going to pair these with a cream tan top you can do tan you can do white you can do beige you can have so many different options when you have that neutral olive green hunter green color and then how about we bring back that look or if you want to make things a little bit more fancy Let's pop on that trench coat and see how it looks. So let's see how that beige, that hunter green, that olive green, and that white or cream comes together. And it's a look. It's a look. You don't have to tell me. I already know it's a look. Now, if you guys want details on the jewelry from Ana Luisa, any of the items that you've seen in this video down to my very own look that I'm wearing, check the description box. I'm not going to keep the secrets from you. I want to put you on and I want you all to be confident and I want you to slay at your best. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this. The theme here is to always be confident in every step of the way, but also open yourself up to things like blazers with shoulder pads, open yourself up to prints, oversized 
shirts open yourself up to chunky knit cardigans that are a little bit oversized but then learn about how pieces that are a little bit more form-fitting or a straight leg pant can afford you a different type of look statement pieces and prints and texture afford you a bit of individuality and expression and that's what i love to do with my clothes so i hope this was helpful i appreciate you guys tuning in let me know what look was your favorite you're going to be seeing these pieces all over all over instagram all over youtube so make sure you follow me hit that subscribe button and turn those post notifications on and i hope i see you in the next